Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I have a Louis Vuitton unboxing today. As you can see, it's sitting right here. I have a really good story for this as well. Um, if you've been here before, you'll know that I have been an avid Louis Vuitton fan and I've gotten a lot of their stuff over the years, but I have taken a pause. I have not done an unboxing from Louis Vuitton for a while, so you might be wondering why uh, I have a really good reason. So it's a juicy story. I will tell you, uh, but I know a lot of you wanted to know what's in here, so I am going to unbox it and then tell you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Emily and I love handbags. I also love travel, fashion, and luxury. So if you like any or all of those things, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell to be notified of my future videos. Today's unboxing is a little special because it is actually not mine. It is my husband's and he is actually sitting behind the camera because he doesn't want to be here, but he'll correct me if I got any of this stuff wrong. Um, you'll probably occasionally hear or see Chester because he's also in the room. But the reason why I wanted to unbox this with you today is because I don't usually see this piece online or on you know, YouTube. So I thought it'd be good to share with you what the piece looks like and the process of it. But it also came with a really good story. Like I said, I will tell you later what it is. So this is the bag. It came in and it's very heavy. This item did come into the store and we went into the San Francisco store to pick it up uh, just actually yesterday. And we actually ordered this piece from the Savoie Fair event in Los Angeles last year. I have a vlog video of that. I'll link it below if you wanted to see it, if you haven't seen it. But yes, that's where we had ordered this. And I will tell you more about it once I get into it. It was rainy yesterday, so the SA did put a big uh, plastic bag over it. Um, these are also a little plastic on top of this. He's very thorough. This essay happens to be a new one for us. Uh, okay, so here, oh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like little damier prints on this paper, actually. It's very pretty. So that's that. And then, let's see if I can even lift this out. <laughs> oh my God, it's so heavy. Okay. Okay. So I... <laughs> I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, so here's the box. Oh my gosh, okay. This is what the item came in. We saw it in stores, so I'm just gonna get right into it. Nathan couldn't open it yesterday because like, I, I actually wanna film a video of unboxing, so I'm trying to do this quickly so he can actually use it. Any guesses to what this might be? Let's see, oh, here we go. I'm not familiar with this type of box. I thought it was one of the magnetic ones, but it's a little uh, side opening. Chester is running around. Okay, this is really heavy. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Okay, I'm trying not to drop the whole thing. Here we go. So this is just the shell, which folds down, which is nice. If you're traveling, this is actually a really good box. And here we have a Louis Vuitton written here, um, sticker. Again, the tissue paper is that same one with the Damier uh, print on it. Are you sure you don't want to open this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. This is the best part, I think. And I don't want to take it away from you. I'll try to not rip it so that you can... Okay. So it looks <laughs> like there's another another sticker here. Okay. Oops. Just okay, so let me just lift it out. It's very snug inside uh, because there are other little tissues stuffed to the side so that it doesn't move, which is really good. I'm now gonna put this empty box onto the ground. All right, so we're finally here. This is the dust bag that you normally get from Louis Vuitton. It is one of the flap ones, not a drawstring one. So last chance for guesses. If you could guess it, put in the comments below, but I'm not sure if you know Nathan that well, so maybe you won't guess it right, but here we go. To reveal. 
I'm gonna try to wrap this back up for you so you could <laughs> unbox it again. Wow, this is a very snug dust bag. Okay, here we go. Ta-da! This is a trunk, and if you know about Louis Vuitton, it was originally known for their trunk making. And so this is an extremely heavy piece because it's made of real wood, as you can see, and it does have a lot of the canvas around as well as leather pieces. Because this is the graphite damier print, it does come with the silver hardware. Most of mine are with the gold hardware, but this one is the silver. Now, if you have seen an unboxing I did last year, I also got the Malfleur, and that one is mine, and that one um, is in the monogram, and it does have the gold hardware. So this one came just from Paris. Nobody's touched it. It went straight to the store. And let me just show you kind of around. You'll see that there is the S-lock up in the front. And if you go around the trunk, you'll see that the back of the trunk does not have any hinges, which is similar to my Malfleur and also my Petite Mal. That is the way that they make their trunks. Um, there we go. And then here is the bottom. There aren't any like feet, uh, but you can see that there are little screws at the bottom, which is actually the same screws on the top, but yeah, that's all that you have. The leather, if you look closely, also has embossing of LV across along with these very pretty um, silver nails. Shall we get into it? We'll open it. Um, you open it by squeezing these buttons here and there is a lock. It's currently unlocked. So that opens up the S-lock and then it lifts open like so. You can see that there is a hinge right here um, and that's the only on one side and that is what prevents it from just um, falling down. But the entire hinging mechanism is actually from fabric from back here. And that is something we actually learned from the Savoir Fair last year because we saw the whole deconstructed trunk and it's sort of what actually made us very interested in getting a second one. That and I think Nathan saw uh, my flower trunk and he was like wow that's a really nice piece so this one as you can see is a little different than my flower trunk this one is for watches this is their eight watch trunk they also come with four watches I think um, other accessories you could put belts in it but this one's specifically for watches these little um, pillows I guess you'll call it is that what you call uh, is what you put your watch around and then you put it back into this location this whole thing does lift up like so. Let me just lift it out. So like that, all lined in this blue microfiber, which we had actually custom ordered. Um, when we went to the Savoir Faire event, they actually only had the gray, and that's the one that you can order online, but we have seen this one at the event, and they had a lot of different trunks there, so one of the trunks that was there had this blue interior and we really liked it and so we had special ordered it okay it also comes with this little baggie and then the keys are actually in here with uh, a leather strap attached to it now this key is specific to this lock um, and i have heard that if you have multiple trunks they can send it off to paris and put it on one lock so that all of your trunks are opened with one set of keys. So that's just what the keys look like. You get a set of two, and then this is sort of the little piece of leather that comes with it. Um, this is a fascetta piece, but it looks like it's a treated fascetta. All right, so at the bottom of this trunk, you'll see that it is still lined in that microfiber blue. There is a little, um, what do you call this? A little step, ledge, ledge? yeah, ledge, um, where this, tray actually sits. This tray does have little leather tabs on the side to help pull it up easier. And there's not a lot of space. I would say like maybe a half inch at the bottom. So you can put like your receipts. You can also put watch straps um, in it if you would like. And this microfiber blue happens to be uh, customized for us. Uh, but we didn't have to pay extra for it. So some colors you do have to pay extra, but this one you don't have to. Okay, so I think that's the majority of the unboxing. Um, 
that's sort of what you could also do. You can sit it up like this and keep it open, but you can also close it. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with this chunk. And um, should anything happen, we can always bring it back into polish. They're, they're really good about that. And yeah, it's very heavy. So I'm gonna set this down just a little bit. Uh, I think that's the <laughs> unboxing part and I'm gonna now go into the story time. So if you're interested, continue watching. So this story time is kind of a pivotal moment of my relationship with Louis Vuitton. Um, as you know, I have been a big fan and I I buy Louis Vuitton like many times throughout the year. I have stopped since last year, around the late of last year. It was actually right after this Savoir Faire event. Now, if you have been here on my channel, you'll know that I have a really good Louis Vuitton essay. He had been with us for maybe five years and um, in about, I think, July of last year, he decided to leave. And I was really upset because we had, like, he, he really understood us and he, he talked to us more about just Louis Vuitton. We talk about life and, you know, um, we have a really good conversation every time we go into the store. And he's actually the one who pointed out us out to this Savoir fair event and invited us to go. Um, unfortunately, he left before the event, so he appointed us to another uh, co-worker that he had there and she met with us once before the event and then met us at the event. And she ultimately was the one who put in the order, which there was a little bit of a confusion because I think she put in the order for this to be gray. But I'll get into the why it's blue now in a little bit. <laughs> um, so we went to the event it was, since it was a VIP event, we didn't have to purchase anything that day. We just had to put in the order. They'll, they'll use our credit card on file to purchase it for us and everything. And yeah, so we never actually got a physical receipt that day. We went, we attended the event, we ordered it, we left. Um, she told us it'll be a while because it's a custom piece and it's gonna be made in Paris, which we're fine with. And we wanted to put it in, put a deposit down. Um, actually, we paid for the whole thing because we didn't want a price increase to come and then have to pay the difference. And so we waited a while and it wasn't, she never contacted me. Usually my other essay would like send me information about, hey, this new piece came in. I never heard anything from her, but then again, I was also busy traveling. So I was, I was not really thinking about that on the top of my mind. But in January of this year, we're like, hmm, it's been about time. It's been about the amount of time that she said we should get the trunk and I haven't heard anything. So I decided to text her, no response. I waited about a week, texted her again and no response. So finally, a week later, I called her and I could not get through. And I was like, this is weird. I Is there something wrong with my phone? No, it's, there's nothing wrong with my phone. And I tried calling her, texting her for another week, nothing. At this point, I got really worried and I was like, okay, you know what? I gotta go into the store, um, but I couldn't make an appointment. So I don't know how many uh, boutique stores in the US you have to make an appointment now, but ever since the pandemic, you kind of have to do that earlier on. So there were no appointments available. So I decided to call customer service um, and they looked at my profile and they saw that I had purchased a trunk last year, but they saw the Malfleur and I was like, no, no, it's not that one. It's another one that I also purchased uh, last year. And they were like, okay, I see that another purchase was made, but it has been canceled. And I was like, wait, what? How is it canceled? And I didn't hear about it. And it's like, uh, he was like, yeah, it's showing canceled. And I was like, but I paid for it and I never got a refund. So how is this possible? And so I got, I started to get freaked out at this point And I was like, I need to talk to somebody, a manager. And he said, um, he cannot see on his end because it is a, it wasn't an online order. So he couldn't see any more than that. He said he would contact his manager who will contact the store manager and that they'll get back to me. And I was like, I don't want to wait. <laughs> I want to go to the store and talk to somebody, but I didn't know who to talk to because my essay was not working there. Well, we found out she wasn't working there anymore. I had kind of figured that was the case because why would she not respond? But yeah, so Nathan and I decided to just go into the store. Uh, we told, we tried to tell them what happened and a sales associate tried to help me like generically help me and he couldn't, he was confused. He was like, I, I see the flower trunk. I don't see another trunk. Are you sure? I'm like, yes, I'm sure. But I didn't have a receipt because I went to the event and the event doesn't give you a receipt. So it's like, I have no proof that I had ordered it besides you charged me last year. And so finally, a manager of that store came around because he couldn't find it. And luckily 
she remembered me. So a long time ago, um, she didn't work with me directly, but we had spoken briefly when my other CA was there, who was also a manager at the store. Um, and so they, I think she knows me. And so when she saw my name, she's like, oh my God, Emily, it's you. And I was like, oh my God, thank God. Like somebody knows what's going on because I don't know how I'm gonna explain all of this to somebody that, you know, just, just started or something. So this whole thing, up until that time, I was feeling like, you know what, I think I'm done with Louis Vuitton. I think I'm, I don't even want to come into the store anymore. They're, they're, I don't feel that connection. I don't feel like they value me. And I certainly feel like they screwed up because nobody told me what was going on. My order was canceled and I've been waiting here this whole time with it canceled. Um, oh, and I wasn't given my money back. So when she acknowledged me, I felt better. I felt more like, okay, I think this can get resolved. <laughs> and so she was so gracious. She immediately looked up everything on my file. She found the item. She called like the Paris uh, store, made sure to ex like expedite it right, right away. She was like, hey, it's still in pro production, but we're expediting it right now. Um, it should it should come in in June. We're like, whoa, that's a lot longer. But given the delays in supply everywhere, it I mean, we kind of understand, but at the same time, I was still not happy. So um, yeah, at this point, I'm still like, eh, on Louis Vuitton. I was feeling like if I ever get a piece, it would be because I'm traveling. It wouldn't be because I had, you know, the intention of coming into the store, just saying hi kind of thing, which I used to do. So yeah, we left the store feeling like, okay, at least now we know they didn't cancel our order. It's still in production and we have a point person to to text and call now because you can't just call the store. You have to have a person um, to message and call. So she, um, the manager that remembered me was really helpful. She gave me updates. She told me everything um, that was happening. And then, yeah, I got a call about five days ago and she was like, your trunk came in and we expedited it. So it's actually here right now. We're like, oh, wow, that's a lot faster than I expected. We weren't, you know. So I called her back to set up an appointment and she was like, actually, sorry, I made a mistake. I was like, wait, what? You, what mistake? And she's like, uh, I told you they came in, but it's the blue interior and it's not the gray. I'm like, and she's like, I'm so sorry about that. And I was like, no, no, don't apologize. It's okay, it's okay. But hang on, let me get this straight. The blue one came in and the gray one is coming in and the gray one's the one we ordered. She's like, yeah, I thought you said the blue one and I thought I remembered it was yours. But when I looked at the receipt that the previous essay who left now um, had put, put in, it was gray. And I was like, no, 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 I'm pretty sure it's the blue interior because the gray one is the one that's always available and we didn't want that one. We wanted the blue one. So I think it's the blue one. And she was like, okay, it's fine. Cause I, I held it for you as soon as it came in. Cause I thought it was yours. I didn't, I, nobody was, nobody touched it. Nobody can touch it. And why don't you come in and take a look? Um, and I was like, yeah, let's make an appointment. She set us up with the hard sided products um, specialist who happens to be the one we met yesterday and who presented this trunk to us. And he was very nice, very knowledgeable. I already showed Nathan the picture that the store manager sent me as well as a video. She was very thorough and we were pretty sure this was it, but we went to the store to make sure. And I think Nathan really liked it. So we took it home and hence why we have this unboxing, but we had a really good chat with this new sales associate or client advisor. And um, he even asked, is it, is it okay if I continue to work with you? Um, I'd be, you know, happy to work with you if you'd have me. And I was like, oh, that's nice of you. And so far we've bonded okay. But you know, when it comes to these kind of relationships, it kind of takes a while. Like it doesn't just happen overnight. So um, he seems knowledgeable, which is great because um, I want somebody who's not more knowledgeable in the brand than myself so that I can believe them when they tell me something. Um, but yeah, he is also the specialist in this um, department. So that's great because he was able to tell us a lot about this piece as well as other pieces that they have. So what do you think? I think right now, <laughs> I think right now I'm still like, okay, I feel better than I did a month ago. And I'm like, okay, I'm willing to test the waters again, but I'm certainly not where I was a year ago with the brand. Um, I'm glad that there are still people who work there and the people that remember me are very courteous. They are very like helpful and they are very sincere. Um, but yeah, like when you lose an essay, it's, 
it's tough because you have to rebuild that relationship. They have to learn about your your style, your what you like, what you don't like all over again. And you kind of have to learn about them a little bit. And yeah, so that's my story. Did I miss anything? Okay, I don't think I missed anything. <laughs> um, yeah, so long story short, we have this trunk. This is our second trunk, and I don't think it will be our last, uh, but we certainly wanted to kind of, you know, play with a few trunks before we were really impressed with the quality of the first one and even more impressed with this one. So at some point, like we saw at the um, Savoir Fair event, at some point we do want to get invest in probably a bigger one, but we don't know what time that would be yet but until then we are going to enjoy these beauties and keep you posted yeah so i just i will link this below if you're interested it does come with the uh, monogram it also comes with the epi leather you can customize it and certainly these are work of arts they're all made in france and even though they have factories all over the world like spain italy and the us the trunks are always made in france Okay, well, I don't know if I have missed anything. If you have any further questions, you can leave it in the comments below and I'll get back to you. If you have any questions for Nathan, leave them below and I'll try to get an answer for you. <laughs> no guarantees if he'll answer, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the story time. I'd love to know if you also ran into something like that at a, not just Louis Vuitton, maybe a little, another designer store, but yeah. <laughs> it is a roller coaster. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. It's heavy. Okay. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Good shake. <laughs>